Hello, my loves. What is up? How y'all all doing today? Hope you're all having a great day. And you know what I always say, honey, if you're not having a great day, get it together, boo. Okay, because today we are here for part number eight of The Sims 3 Crossleys. Now, in the first part of this video, I will be talking and telling you guys basically why um, I haven't really been posting this series, what's been going on, but if you're not interested in seeing that, I will have its timestamp and the comments down below basically indicating where the series starts, like real, where the real tea be starting, okay? So, if you want to skip all my talking, all my annoying ranting, please feel free to do so. I will not be offended. Um, I understand that y'all got better things to do, okay? So, let's just go ahead and get on into the tea. So... Basically, I'm just going to be honest with you guys, very transparent, very just like, this is what's going on. And um, the fact of the matter is, with this series and with pets, I just feel like I haven't really been as inspired or as like into the series is i guess as i am with legacy for example or you know like my past series like generations and i feel like it definitely does show because i'm not posting the series as much and i don't really like to post let's play parts if i'm not really into what i'm filming because you can tell and it just doesn't make the let's play very exciting like the storyline kind of starts going everywhere and it's never really consistent and you can kind of tell with this series like the storyline's just kind of all over the place. It's not really like set in stone, kind of like it was with the greens. And I just feel like it's kind of, you know, weird, you know? And I've had, you know, a lot of Let's Plays on my channel before, so I don't think that's the issue. I just think that the connection with this family isn't as strong as it was before. So what I did is I played a little bit off camera and it kind of gave me the opportunity to connect with this family more and to really get to know every sim and just have a lot of fun. Now I did play this family off camera previously and that could also be a big part of it is that I've been playing this family for so long at such a long, you know, their long teenage life stage that maybe, you know, I'm just like, okay, I'm ready for them to grow up now. But um, you guys obviously haven't seen them as long as I have. So I think I'm just kind of like, okay, it's time to move on. Obviously, you know, you guys are seeing them as teens, but I've seen them as teens for months and months and months and months. So I've been playing like the same Sims, if that makes any sense. And I just feel like, you know, I'm kind of, I don't know, I kind of was in a little bit of a funk. And now I'm back. This series will be posted regularly, just like all my other series as well. I'm so sorry that I left. Um, another big reason as well is because I just... Plum out for God, like a lot. So, for example, for like legacy and pets, a lot of the time, if I go a little bit without posting and I don't notice, because a lot of the time I just want to post, you know, regular videos and, you know, not necessarily like let's plays or anything. I don't really get any comments very rarely asking about the cross sleeves. I maybe get it like once every blue moon, but for the most part, I don't really get as many comments as, you know, I do with my previous let's plays. And I think because Pets and Legacy are a little bit more popular than the series, and I think I have a little bit more interaction, like, within the comments and stuff, and so even with, like, the viewership, I feel like is a little bit more with, you know, Legacy and Pets, so people are consistently asking about the series as much, you know, when I go a while without posting, but I don't really get that same thing with the Crossley, so I just kind of forget, but I did get a comment as well that was like, where's the Crossies at? So here they are. We're here. We're back. So like I said, I did play a couple of um, days off camera. So it is right now the summertime and I changed everybody's outfits, like literally everyone. They're all in new looks, new gear, and I'm super excited. So let me show you guys. I think Naomi just has the one outfit. I honestly don't know. Does she have two? I feel like maybe she could have two. But I don't think so. Let's see. Okay, yeah, no. She just got the one. Um, but everybody has one outfit. And it is actually 5 p.m. Because I was playing just recently, really enjoying the game. And I've really been um, having Naomi, like, work on her. When did she become prom queen? Wait a second. What? Wait, when did this happen? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Did I play off, did I play prom off camera? What is this? <laughs> what is this, what is this photo? A hot mess. I probably played prom off camera and didn't even realize you guys. Cause I think in the last part we missed prom and I'm pretty sure that prom happened again and our girl got prom queen. 
which is super exciting. Now, I know you guys are like, well, why would you play off camera? That's actually the point of the Crossleys. Like, even with the greens, a lot of the time, I played off camera because I you know, it's like starts off basically from a current household. So I'm going to kind of tell you guys and update you guys on everything that's been going on and kind of show you guys their outfits and everything. First and foremost, hold on. I think my sound is off you guys. And that's not cute because like we need to be hearing the audio of the game. Okay. Um, but yeah, so there's a couple things that have changed. Let me show you guys. Well, first off, Lorraine's on his way to work. So I guess I can't really show you his everyday outfit, but I did change up Lynette's outfit. So let me show you guys what she looks like oh hot mama she looks so good and i think i changed her second outfit too yes i did look at her hot mama let's go ahead and answer our phone real quick and then oh the only person i didn't change was isaiah because i just don't have enough team clothes that's honestly the reason uh, i don't have any other reason other than the fact that i don't have any team clothes and it looks like she wants to throw us a bachelorette party i mean girl like we don't have any other friends lucia except for you so I don't really know how that's going to work. But anyways, so also, can we just talk about the fact that Lynette and Isaiah have been getting a lot closer because of his strain with his father. I feel like because his father's kind of been giving Lorraine, Lorraine, oh my God, Isaiah, a really, really hard time. Um, Lynette has kind of tried to be... I don't know if martyr is the right word. I don't think that's the right word. The peacemaker in between the two. And she's really started to develop a good relationship with Isaiah. She's actually offered to teach him how to drive. And they've been doing that, which is super cute. And I've actually really been enjoying them spending the time together. Okay, when did we go to prom? Also, can we talk about the, the fact that he got prom king? Like, that's so awkward. <laughs> Why didn't your girlfriend get prom queen? I feel like that's also you went to prom alone. What is this outfit? Oh my god, a mess. A mess. A mess. So apparently we went to prom. Um and Isaiah got prom king and which I don't understand because he's he's not really that popular. I'm just being real. Um it's totally understandable for Naomi to be prom queen because you know she's in the basketball team, she's captain of the basketball team, she is very well known, she's you know pretty popular, so it makes sense that she would have a, a prom queen crown. But uh Isaiah, where'd you get that from? Did you steal it? I feel like he stole it from like somebody from uh the prom because he it, sis <laughs> like no offense i love me some isaiah but like he's just very anti-social and very quiet so i don't understand why he won maybe because he's dating maxine i don't know okay that's the tea anyways let's go ahead and i could totally see isaiah like <laughs> like taking it from the actual prom queen like or the actual prom king as like a joke i think that i could totally see him doing that that's why i think i said that he would steal it because i could totally see him like pulling a prank and taking somebody else's crowd. I could totally see him doing it. I think it'd be hilarious, but actually right now he does want to pull a prank, which is so funny. You know, we might actually do that today, but I mean, it's kind of late because I was going to have him learn how to drive, but it's very late. It's six o'clock. I feel like, you know, maybe we could go tomorrow because I mean, he still has a couple of um time before he ages but i'm gonna go ahead and send him over since he does want to pull a prank i think we should pull a prank on the school so i think we did that and maybe the last part i don't remember i mean it's been a bit you guys but i'm gonna go ahead and have him come over here and we are going to pull a prank and he is going to hmm should we steal tess a toilet paper the principal's office deface the mascot release frogs or flood the school I think he would toilet paper the principal's office. I really don't see him stealing tests or anything because, you know, his dad's a cop. I don't think that's a very smart idea. So <laughs> we're just going to stick to the regular regular pranks. We're going to toilet paper um, the principal's office. And I'm going to have Lynette make the bed really quick. And it looks like Naomi just cooked up something good to eat. Delicious. Also, I've been working a little bit more on Harley's skills as well because I really want her to just be like, a little smarty pants she's actually level five in logic right now and uh she is getting there slowly but surely i also got her like um a couple of little you know science things logic things whatever um that she can work on but she doesn't really have too much to do i mean it's really late and i'm surprised that she's not tired so i'm gonna have her go ahead and discover a potion Isaiah has made it into the principal's office. The only question left to ponder is what technique of toilet papering to use. The shred, the wallpaper, or the plaster. I would say maybe the wallpaper. I don't know. 
Um, let's go ahead and just have her kind of talk to her mom because it seems like something that maybe she's interested in doing. We can also complain about Lorraine, which is so funny. Because I feel like nobody in the house really likes him that much. Like, him and Naomi aren't very close either. Um, it seems like he only really has a very close bond with Harley. And they're actually old friends right now, so. But I love how cute they are. Okay, caught with 60 rolls of two-ply toilet paper, the principal is pondering whether or not to charge Isaiah with trying to toilet paper the office with 120 rolls. This could be hard to remove from the permanent record. Ooh, boy. Come on now. Well, I mean, he's a straight-A student. I mean, come on. Give him a little slack. All right. So we did get caught, which is unfortunate. Um, he's feeling pretty bad because he got pr caught pranking. We need to run before the police get here. Come on. I mean, the police know you by first name, sir, <laughs> at this point. Because you're dang a graffiti, and we live. We live. And also because his dad, you know, works in the police force. I mean, that would uh, totally make sense. Uh, but Lorraine is getting off from work. So I'm going to go ahead and have him go home. <gasps> no! <gasps> no! 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 Okay, you hooligans think you're so clever with these silly pranks. Well, Finest is here to put it to an end. Come with me now. We were so close. We were so close to escaping. Are you kidding me? Why are we always in legal trouble? <laughs> Look at Isaiah's face. He's like, not again. <laughs> not again. Listen, I do this to myself, okay? I let this boy go out and pull all these pranks. But that's just who he is. I mean, he has fun. And honestly, I don't see why it's that big of a deal. I mean, he literally toilet papered to the principal's office. It's not like he freaking uh, broke into the school and, you know, stole some, I don't know, stole some money or nothing. He ain't steal nothing. He just, you know, pulling a little harmless prank, little teenage prank. Okay, why y'all being like that? I should have made his girlfriend go with him. <laughs> or maybe Naomi, you know? But it's too late now, so. We're just gonna accept our fate. Accept our fate. Oh, and of course, Lynette has to be the bad guy, unfortunately. Lynette has to be the bad guy. That's sad. Well, you know. <laughs> it, it's better that she does it than, um, than her dad. Or than his dad. Um, so he's grounded. We're going to apologize to him and just say, you know, it's not my place to, like, yell at you. Because obviously, you know, he's not, like, his, um, she's not his mom, mom. Um, but we're going to go ahead and just kind of be like, you know, we're going to make an exception this one time. You know, I'm scolding you. I don't think it was smart for you to do that. However, you're lucky that I found out and not your dad because your dad would ring you by your neck. It's basically what she's saying, okay? Um, Isaiah's having a very bad day. You know what? I'm going to be nice. I'm going to let him off the hook, honestly, because I don't really care. And he's really upset because he's grounded. Listen, you're not going to be grounded for very long because, honestly, let's be real. Our girl don't give a crap. Honestly and truly. Lynette really don't care. Like, she's very lenient with her, um, her own children. <laughs> Um, and also, you know, I feel like Lorraine's kind of like a hard butt because he's, you know, he's a cop. So he kind of, you know, you know what I'm saying. Um, and I think it, you know, that Lynette's, as I said, kind of like the peacemaker. And she's agreeing that she's like, okay, fine. I won't tell your father this one time, but you better get it together. You better get it together because I ain't got the time. Okay. We're going to go ahead and compliment him. And then I'm going to have her actually... Maybe Lorraine can do it since he's not doing nothing anyways. Let's go ahead and pay the bills real quick. And can we call Maxine? Let's call her. And chat on the phone. See what our girl Maxine is up to. And Harley, how are you feeling today? You're just a little bit... Well, she's kind of starting to get tired, but she's also needs to shower. And they have school today. What happened to our shower? What the heck? I could have sworn I just had a shower in here. Oh, well, time to add another one. Let's see. Ooh, let's use this Into the Future one. It is so pretty. It's, like, so random, but I kind of like it, so let's use it. All right. Um, we're going to shower. And then it seems like Lynette and Isaiah may just be hitting it off. Lorraine's like, what the heck is happening? What the heck is happening? We're going to admire him and just kind of console him and be like a good, um, you know, kind of mother figure or whatever. Um, and I think since 
you know, Naomi just cooked. We're going to call everybody to a meal so that they can eat before they have to go to bed. And, you know, she's still talking to Maxine. They're having a good old conversation, some good old tea. Telling each other what it is and what it do. So there are also a couple things that you guys may have noticed. Um, just kind of like, oh, sorry, I had to fix his traits. But anyways, there are a couple things that you guys may have noticed. Um, one of them being that we don't have our backyard anymore because obviously um, I had that issue with my computer a couple of a couple of like week months ago i don't know time has just been going like crazy but anyways um i had the issue with my computer so i haven't been able to add in the balcony again but it's fine i mean i don't really is it a balcony the patio i think it's a patio um i don't really care too much because i didn't really want it that much i actually really enjoy having like harley's little items in the back so you know I don't mind too much. She really likes the tree house, so, you know, I'm going to keep it. She sleeps in there literally every night for the most part. She very rarely sleeps in her room. Um, are you going to eat, sir? Because if not, I will gladly eat that mac and cheese for you. Okay, let's put up all of the food. And Naomi's actually been cooking dinner for the last couple of nights. I mean, it's been nice because I've been able to improve her skills and whatnot, but... She has definitely been cooking up it, cooking it up in that kitchen, and she also wants to become friends with a new girl that she met at school named Danette, and I really want to become friends with her too. I really want to get to know her and maybe start like a a threesome group. Is that the right word? A threesome? Uh, that's not the right word, but y'all know what I mean. Um, and then also, I want Isaiah to hang out with Maxine pretty soon, so we're gonna have to do that maybe after school tomorrow. But for right now, I'm gonna go ahead and have all of them sleep look at her new freaking sleepwear she looks so cute okay mom and dad what are y'all doing what are y'all doing there's just random clothes just sitting on the floor that's so oh this is so annoying so one of the most annoying things about the sims 3 is when you add in the laundry thing and they literally just sit everywhere um our trash unfortunately was not taken out so you know what we're just gonna go to bed um, but anyways, you guys, I'm going to let them all sleep and I will see you in the morning whenever the whole fam wakes up. All right. So good morning, you guys. It is seven in the morning and Lorraine and Lynette are ready for the day. Um, I think they have to work today. Yeah, they both do. Um, they have to work in two hours. So I think Lorraine needs to go ahead and take a quick shower and I'm going to have Lynette use the bathroom. I mean, they both need a shower, but I mean, at this point... It's fine. Lorraine has the green stuff coming out, so he definitely needs to shower. Um, let's go ahead and... Oh, don't go back to sleep, honey boo. You didn't eat dinner? Are you kidding me? I could have sworn he ate dinner, but maybe not. Let's go ahead and have him... Um, let's just eat some leftover apple pie. Literally everything in our fridge is spoiled. We need to clean out the fridge. Um, and he also has a painting in his inventory. I think that he got it from Art Club, but I mean, you know, we don't have any space, sir, to put your painting. Oh, maybe we could... I mean, that's not very good. <laughs> I mean, at least I'm being honest with you, sir. It's not very good, but I'll go ahead and hang it anyways. Um, and yeah, she needs a laundry ham hamper in her room. I just realized that. We're going to have to add one because that's going to get old real fast. So we need to add in... A laundry hamper because I can't keep putting everything in Harley's room so we're just gonna copy this hamper and just put it like in the corner I mean she has a sleeping bag for when Maxine comes over so that's the reason that that's there but I guess I could just move it and then this little science trophy is it a science trophy no I don't think it is but it's a trophy regardless uh no it's not a trophy it's from a trip a field trip um what am I talking about let me, I mean, I guess we could just put it in Harley's room. We don't have enough room for it to be in our room, so we'll put it in Harley's. And they're all doing their thing. Isaiah is eating some apple pie before he leaves for the day because he's like, I got to grab some food. I mean, I really do. So he's just going to do that. Um, that's perfectly fine. I mean, I'm fine with it. This prom photo sucks, and honestly, I don't want to put it up anywhere, but it's fine i really wanted him to go to the prom with maxine but since they're like not technically officially in a relationship then oh you ate wait the apple the apple pie was spoiled are you kidding me i mean this is a pretty good quality fridge so why are they doing that okay um so our girl harley she needs to work on her late homework 
And I think Naomi is maybe going to talk to some friends because I really want to get her to know um, this girl right here, Danette. And then Isaiah needs to work on his late homework. Why don't you meet some lawyers today? Because, of course, at some point, we're going to have to have your bachelorette party. And we can't do that if you don't know anybody. So we're going to go ahead and get to know some more people. And I think maybe Lorraine. I don't know, sir. I mean, he's getting pretty high up in his career pretty quickly. Um, maybe we could just, like, I mean, our relationship with our partner is already pretty good. But we're going to chat with our partner. And um, I'm going to see you guys whenever they get out of work and out of school. And hopefully we'll be able to hang out with Maxine a little bit. Oh, my God. We got detention. From what? Wait, why do we get detention? Look, Isaiah is not having a good time. <laughs> He's literally an A student. I don't understand why he got detention. What is happening? And it looks like Lynette has met all of her coworkers. She doesn't have a lot. Um, this is Melody Humphrey. Okay, let's go ahead and chat with her, I guess, because I really want to get to know some people. And since she's a lawyer, I feel like that's a great opportunity. And then there's also this girl as well, but I don't think she's a lawyer. Um... All right, Harley went on a school trip and she got a souvenir from the science lab. Oh, look, <laughs> the literal thing that I thought was a trophy. I'm a mess. And Harley's also an honor student. Iconic, we love that. Okay, so um, I'm just gonna let them go to their after school clubs because it seems like that's where she's at. I don't understand why he got detention. Maybe it's because of the fact that he like trashed the school yesterday. That could be a possibility. Also, they're back on the honor roll, which is exciting. And we just got out of school. Let's go ahead and text Maxine real quick and see if she wants to meet. Uh, oh, there she is. What the heck is she wearing, girl? What are you wearing? That is not cute. Also, if you guys notice that she looks a little bit different, I had to put a different skin on her because I couldn't find the other one that I had on her before. What the heck is she wearing? I could have sworn that I changed her outfit. I don't know, but um, I'm going to have Isaiah go somewhere. I don't really know where. Um, oh, yeah. Maybe we can go to the bowling alley, and we'll just go with Maxine. Hopefully, she'll be able to go with us. And then I think maybe we can invite over Danette because I really want to make a new friend. And also, ooh, Lorraine, you look so good. <laughs> So good. This is a man, y'all. He looks so good. Okay. Uh, Danette's coming over. Let's go ahead and clean up our house because if we're going to have a guest over, that's embarrassing. Let's just uh, clean up this house. It's a mess. All right. And since dad's not really doing anything, you can help out with some chores, sir. All right. Um, What else can we do? We can also clean out this bad food because it's disgusting. And it looks like Lynette is on her way back home from work. And what are you doing, Isaiah? You're still on your way to the bowling alley. So let's go ahead and just have Harley um, practice her dunking, I guess, for a little bit. And I think we're going to not break a sweat because we cannot afford to be stanky, okay? Harley is going to go ahead and discover a potion since they don't have school tomorrow, I feel like. Oh, wait a second. Oh, Danette's here. Okay, let's say hello first. I want to get to know her. So let's tell a funny joke. And we are going to, I guess, I don't know, ask if she's single. And we're going to ask her a sign. And then we'll just chat a little bit. And she's so cute. Oh, my gosh. Okay. We're going to talk to her. I don't like her hair, though. We need to change. We need to give her a little bit of a renovation because I'm not a huge fan of the hair. I mean, I'm just being real here. Oh, wait. I don't want to snub her. Stop snubbing her. Tell a joke. Um, we can't tell a joke every single time. So let's chat a little bit. It seems like she's very receptive and seems pretty nice, which is a good thing. So, you know, whatever. And then once we're done with that, I think I'm just going to kind of challenge her to... Or maybe we could train her. Ooh, yeah, let's train her. Because maybe she's like a new person on the basketball team and we are training her to um, kill it. So, yeah. Where is... Oh, Maxine left. Okay, we're going to have to invite her back over. I know it's kind of late and we might be past curfew, but it's fine. 
He gets in trouble literally every day anyways. <laughs> oh, Maxine, no. It looks like, well, maybe she has to work or something. I don't really know. We also have this little girl named Nicole. Um, I mean, I kind of, I mean, Harley doesn't really have any friends. All right, dude. Well, since you can't really do anything with Maxine, why don't we go, I mean, I'm trying to find like a good spot in the street that we can like graffiti or maybe not get caught. But I mean, there's really nowhere that we can do it and not get caught. Let's just do it right here. It's fine, whatever, right in front of the bowling alley. What can you do? What can you do? So really quick, I think, I usually don't do this, but I really, 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 really want to give Danette a makeover really quick. Where is she? Where'd she go? <gasps> Where'd she go? Is she leaving? Wait, where did, oh, there she is. Okay, I was like, what the heck? Um, yeah, I really want to give her a quick makeover just because, I don't know, we can kind of get it done on camera. And I also have to change Maxine's outfit, so hopefully I'll be able to do that as well. By the time that we invite Maxine over, it'll probably be close to curfew. So I have a feeling that we really won't be able to accomplish much, but, you know, we'll see. I just want to make sure that the sound was off because that can get real annoying. So I'm going to be honest, I'm not a huge fan of the hair color. I just think it looks kind of weird and I don't like the hairstyle either. Um, I just don't like like how it's multi-color. Like, what is that? That doesn't even match with the color that's like, I, I don't know how to explain it. Listen, y'all will see whenever I fix her, okay? Um, I'm thinking maybe for her hair, we could go for kind of the same concept, but maybe like... I don't know. I mean, we're going to have to change up the hairstyle, obviously, because, like, this hairstyle is not it. We're going to have to change that up very much so. let's. So let's see what kind of hairstyles I got. Ooh. I mean, I use this hairstyle a lot, but I actually really like this hair on her. It's really cute. Or we could also do this one or maybe this one. This one's also very cute. I use this hairstyle a lot because I love it. But I think I'm going to use this one just because I think it looks the most pretty on her. I really like this one a lot. But I think I'm just going to make it a little bit darker. Like, nothing too crazy. Because I actually do like, like the brownish kind of ginger color on her. But, I mean, I love that. She looks so cute. Let me screenshot real quick. Girl, you killing it. Okay. Um, now we're going to put on some lashes because y'all know... Can't do a sim without some good old lashes. Without some good old lashes. All right. And then maybe a little bit of highlight and some eyeliner. And then we are done, girl. Oh, and of course we have to change our outfit, obviously. But um, maybe a little eye highlight. But we're going to make it more like kind of a tannish color. Or like a gold because gold highlight is everything yes i live for that okay now we gotta do a little bit of like face highlight just a little bit i'm not gonna like i mean i literally put it to the <laughs> the smallest amount that you could do because all we need is a little bit you know a little bit goes a long way especially with teens so i'm gonna kill that down a little bit and add like a little bit of the nose highlight looks kind of weird if you scale it down a little bit because it kind of gives this weird shine. So I'm going to try this nose highlight maybe. I mean, even still, that one looks kind of weird. Um, You know, I think this will work. Okay, now let's do some lips. Y'all know how I feel about lips. Yes, okay, that is perfect. Actually, I'm going to get rid of this because I think... She might just be good with, or maybe, I mean, I'm going back and forth because I really don't like the, I mean, I like the eye highlight, but I also don't. Um, let's do this. No, let's try this one. Okay, I think that's good. I don't think she needs like too much makeup or anything. She's a very beautiful girl, so I think it's fine the way it is. Um, and she's got, right now she's in her athletic wear. <laughs> 
So since, you know, she's already working out with us, just to, you know, prevent from bothering me, um, I am going to go ahead and change her athletic wear. I think I'm just going to give her this cute little jumpsuit by Bill Sims, just to kind of make it very fast and easy. And then we're just going to copy this color and put it on her shoes. Perfection. And then we're going to make all her shoes purple. Amazing. All right. There we go. So now, can I lock in this hair so that we can just like keep it like this? Because I really like this hair. Okay, it's already locked in. Coolio. So we're going to change it up her everyday outfit really quick. I'm not going to do anything crazy just because obviously we don't want to spend the whole part making over this girl. But she's so cute. All right, we got a new friend. I'm so excited. Um, I love me some Maxine, but I mean, I really like this girl too. She's really cute. Okay. I downloaded a couple of new pieces of CC because I've been obsessed with this website lately. And I really like this top. So we might just have to go with this and some ripped jeans and call it a day, girl, because I think that that's all we need. Or maybe like a skirt. Um, or shorts might work, too. I mean, it is the summertime. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's do these shorts. And then I'm just going to give her some sandals or maybe just regular sneakers. And then we are done. We are done because I don't have the time to be doing all her other outfits. We just don't have the time. We just don't have the time. Okay. Maybe. Huh. These. Yeah, let's do these. Okay. It's very teenage-esque. And that's why I live for it. So. She's so cute, y'all. Oh, my God. I love this hair on her. It looks so good. They look so cute. Look at her encouraging Danette to get it. Okay, girl, you got this. Hold on. Let me take a little picture because, of course, I got to put them in the thumbnail because, like, she just made a new friend and we love that. Also, oh, she looks so pretty. You look so pretty, girl. You, you slaying. You are slaying. Hold up. We got a good, a good thumbnail. Are you kidding me? I'm not. I am struggling. Oh, look at the oh, the cop car in the background. We love that. <laughs> the the cop car just sitting in the parking lot. Okay. The parking lot. Literally in our driveway. What am I talking about? Ooh. Okay, come on, y'all. How's she doing? I mean, literally, you're not even looking at her to train her. I'm so confused. Like, who are you looking at? Who are you looking at? No one, because you're looking in the, a completely different direction than the girl that's throwing the basketball. I'm just saying. You're not really paying much attention to her. Okay. <laughs> a mess, y'all. A mess. What is she doing? Okay. I mean, she's still doing pretty dang good, I think. I'm not really paying attention. I'm taking photos because I'm so shook at how pretty she is. Um, I, you know, we love a good townie sim. That's very easy to make over. Oh, and it looks like they have now become friends. Yes. Which is awesome because that means we can hang out with Maxine and Danette together. Oh, wow, kind of like a girl group. All right, let's go ahead and be funny and... Um, we're going to just tell her a funny story, kind of try to get their relationship a little bit better. And maybe we can have a sleepover soon, maybe tomorrow or something. I don't know. I got to go back and change all Maxine's outfits because, like, they're not cute. But what? let me. Oh, no, I don't want to stop her. Why do I keep accidentally doing that? Um, but, yeah, let me know what you guys think about us having, like, a sleepover or something. By the way, if you guys hear any background noise, my mom is taking a shower, so I'm so sorry about that. She always, always, I feel like, takes a shower whenever I start filming. It's like, it always happens. Always. Um, but anyways, we're going to go ahead and go back home. And let's see. Lynette, why don't you change your outfit, girl? Because it is not cute. And we're going to go ahead and just kind of talk to our hubby. See what he's doing. How his day was and all that. We're also going to applaud his hard work. And it seems like Lorraine is kind of thinking about babies. Which is crazy to me. I mean, I, I, mean, I wouldn't be opposed to it. I'm just saying. But I'm really wanting to get, you know, her to have, like, to know more people. But at the same time, I feel like... If we get to know this girl right here, Melody, then we should be fine to have a wedding. Oh, Lynette, you have to throw a bachelorette party before you get married. Listen, I'm so tired of 
Her trying to get me to throw a bachelorette party. Maybe I should just do it because tomorrow is Saturday, so I feel like it's a perfect time to do it. And our daughter's old enough where she really could go to our bachelorette party with us if she wanted to. And we could honestly invite all of her friends. I don't really know, though. I mean, I know that, you know, she can go, but I don't know if we'll be able to invite her friends. I guess we'll see. But we're going to go ahead and throw ourselves. Oh, are we going to throw ourselves a bachelorette party? Or are you just going to chat with Melody? I mean, I picked to chat with Melody, but dang, now that means I'm going to have to give Melody a makeover. Y'all, I have so many makeovers to do. Melody is very pretty, though. I can already see from her little icon photo. But um, why don't you come out here and maybe introduce yourself to uh, Danette because you've never met her before. So we're going to say hello. We are going to say hello. Say hello. Hello, Miss Danette. How you doing today? How is you doing? Naomi's just like, okay, well, bye. <laughs> Get out of my face. Oh, that's it. Harley figured out the correct chemical combination to create a bladder flow. Ooh. Ooh. We've got to get Isaiah with that. We've got to get Isaiah with that. We have to. Are you kidding me? A secret, yeah, I promise I keep it.